shot was fired that began World War II? Were you there the day the last brick was placed on the Colosseum in Rome and it was finished? Have you ever been a part of history? What's your name? Dimitri. Dimitri, have you ever been a part of history? Nah. 
Well, now's your chance because you and the JCWA universe get to witness the biggest debut in the history of JCWA. Be grateful. Sweet. Ring the bell. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome up. I was gonna say to our first match, a Hell on Earth 2, but wait, that's it. Probably the shortest match in JCWA history. What just happened, no, Parker? No, no, this no. was not supposed to go down that this way. That was, I wasn't ready. I wasn't even on track yet. Did you, that was not. That means little should be advances into the Rumble match later on tonight. Oh my god, all of the turmoil, all of the tension between Stop these two now. men fighting over now. the management representative Stop position that Sam Aaron took away from Giovanni Anuhan. Finally, these two can go at it. Giovanni proving that he has the smarts and he has the techniques, taking Sam Aaron out oh, wow. in arguably JCWA's yeah. shortest match ever. Wouldn't happen, bro? Yo, man. Yeah, you got be in two seconds, bro. Two seconds, man. He wouldn't last a second in the Rumble, bro. Yo, man. I don't know why these guys think they can keep playing with us, trying to keep up with us. Yo, what about James? James? Yeah, man. James supposed to be here, yo. It's a, it's a moment. Bro, he left me a call saying he's gonna be here. Gonna be here? Gonna be here. You know, he's, he's, he's been he's been off, but tonight? Yo, we're gonna do this the right way, yo. We at Hell on Earth, too. Look at that. Ain't nobody out here worried about anything. I showed everybody in Brawl of Season 3 what, what the deal is now. So here we are now. And we and we popping out the, the liquor, the champagnes, it's all coming out early. You know why? Because we're not going to lose tonight. We, we celebrating early tonight the way it's supposed to be. Not Jonathan Ortiz, not Deshaun Cullum. Who else? Reaper They're crew. irrelevant. Yes, it's, Reaper it's crew, all baby. Reaper Crew. All Reaper Crew. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to tonight, man. And... Ain't nobody gonna stop that. Nobody. Who? Who? Yeah, tell me who. It's Reaper Crew. Who's gonna stop me? It's us. Okay. Can you go the door? Get that. Let me get that, man. Ain't nobody gonna stop us right now. We celebrating with the Bacardi. Mm. My man! Yo, yo. Yeah, look who it is, me, man, James Van. Yo, James Van. It's been so good to see you guys. Yeah, I know. Yeah, man. It's, uh, it's been a while. Uh, I told you guys how I was handling that stuff for us. Oh, yeah, man. And uh, that last cut match didn't really go too well. That's, yeah, no. that's fine. I mean, I could have made it into the Rumble, but I kind of got pinned at the last possible second. Nah, I, I think there was like more than three seconds left. Definitely more than three seconds. I feel you, but enough of that. You're here. Hell on Earth 2. The Reaper crew finally back. You you ready for this match? Uh, you in this match, right? Nah. I'm not in this match. I you actually, still hurt? Yeah, I'm still hurt, but I got things to say. What's going on? I've been offered a position. And that's why you haven't seen me. That's, I haven't been dodging your calls to be that person. I've been dodging your calls because I've been trying to set some things up. I uh, made sure I was showing up today to let y'all know that in person, that uh, I'm not wrestling anymore, that I'm officially uh, going to be behind the desk. But I'll still be doing a better job than uh, Gio, though. That I know for a fact. So what, what? I, You're good I, in the I, ring with us. Uh, I can't. My uh, management told me that I can't. Uh, How would management? Be, be with Bro. You. Bro, bro, how, how many management guys you know actually still wrestle? Come on. Yeah, but they don't have what I have. That that stomp to the shoulder, that twist, bro. That, that all that all did it. Why are you doing this? I, I, I didn't want to do it. I did not want to do it. If I wanted to do it, I would have did it through a text message and then forced y'all to meet someone in the ring. Like how management actually respects y'all. I have respect for y'all because y'all my brothers. That's why I came here to let you know that this is, I, I can't, that's, I came here to give you guys this. Tonight out of all nights, man. I mean, at least they're not making me try and take that from you. Like, they, it was this, give you guys this and get a job or just keep this and not be in the JCWA. I still want to be with my fan, but I gotta, I gotta do what's best for me. So what, what, but what's right best now. for me could also be good for y'all too. So what, you're just stopping? I'm still really going to be Reaper Crew at heart to the day I die, but I can't, I can't jack it, sadly. Mm. 
I mean, I, I didn't mean to ruin the celebration. That's that's why I said I needed to tell you guys something in the text message or the phone call. Not, I'm hyped to see y'all. You, you think I want to do this to have to break my friends' hearts to not be able to do this no more? Of all the things you could have chose, you chose this. So what? You just gonna? You, you hold on to that. You think things over. You, you sure? You hold on to that. Yeah. You positive? Yeah. No, no hard feelings. You, you hold on to that. Thank you. Sorry, guys. It's cool. It's cool. Did we just lose a member? Yep. Yep. Shit could get menacing, frightening. Find help. Sometimes I scare myself, myself. Tweaking, tweaking off that 2 CP high. Is he gonna make it TPD high? Thought I was gon' run, DMC, huh? I done died and lived again on DMT, huh? See, this the type of high that won't come down. This the type of high that get you gunned down. Closing down the sector, supreme neck protector Better want him kid, Mr. Mepsa Ball and pop, bout to blow his lid from the pressure Too hot for TV, for sheezy Too many wanna be hard, be easy It's all in the together, going all out together It don't take much to please me Still homes, I'm never satisfied like the stones We don't get don't bite and see them selling crossbones Protecting what I'm writing, don't clash with the titan Who blast with a license to kill rap recitings Come on, in the zone with your nigga from the group home To cow, fuck your lifestyle, ready? put your lights out You guys ready? Ladies and gentlemen, we are here, match two at Hell on Earth 2, and hopefully this match will be a lot longer than the first one. We see here one of the greatest members of all time, a living legend, a veteran in Damian Jenkins going up against the BX prodigy. Xavier Rodriguez has had a very impressive open challenge winning streak. Both of these men have had tons of animosity, tons of anger, tons of turmoil, just at each other, starting since the platinum season before Path to Red Alert 2 when Xavier Rodriguez initially started calling Damian Jenkins out saying Damian Jenkins doesn't have what it takes anymore that he's old news and that's why he is no longer here then Damian Jenkins came back at Path to Red Alert 2 in that three way with them two and Dior's Perez and then throughout the Platinums, the Brawls attacking each other during the tournament during the main character contract battle royal just every time these guys are in the same place all they want to do is tear each other apart well partner they finally get that chance one-on-one -on -one at hell on earth 2. it's gonna have to take a lot for Xavier Rodriguez to pull off a victory against Damian Jenkins. Let's not forget, partner, Damian Jenkins is not only one of the longest living members and legends, but he has been in the JCWA and Just Central films longer than most people, almost everybody. He has been in countless projects, countless shorts, countless matches, countless JCWA events, movie roles, film roles everywhere and you name it Damian Jenkins has done it one of the greatest doesn't even begin to explain his career accolades Xavier Rodriguez has to bring out his very best he's going to have to put out all the stops he even hopes to compete let alone beat this legend Damian Jenkins and right here Damian Jenkins oh, oh my goodness no. Choking Xavier with his own ah. arm, man. Damian Jenkins only oh, off the pin. pin right. Oh, Xavier Rodriguez almost getting the three count there. You're gonna have to do a lot more, buddy. Xavier Rodriguez, you know you can't deny what he has done, what he has accomplished in his own right. He is a veteran as well. He is an all-star. He has a decent win record, to be completely honest with you, especially compared to others. He has his career accolades, he has his accomplishments, but you know what would be his biggest accomplishment partner? Beating the legend, one of the top legends in JCWA and Jet Central Films history, Damian Jenkins.
Now let's not forget, partner. Xavier has to cross this obstacle right now in Damien Jenkins. But then afterwards, he has to go onto the Platinum Rumble 2 and actually try to win the thing. Dude, it's not easy, but I believe that Xavier can pull this off. Winning the Platinum Rumble 2 itself? I'm not sure. There's a lot of hand favorites that I have in that match. Uh, yes, partner, I agree with you there. It would be very tough for either of these men to go on and compete in the Platinum Rumble 2 because they would already be tired from this match. I'm sure these guys are going to go at it. it th you know, victory in this match means a lot more than just a win. It is pride that is on the line here. It is two men, two eagles, battling face-to-face, head-to-head, showing and trying to prove that they are better My than their club. opponent. And you know what? I would be impressed with either of these men not only I'm winning this match, but going on to do their best at the Platinum Rumble too. Partner, earlier I heard you mention all of the accolades that Damien Jenkins possessed. Yes, it is, it is fact that he possessed every single accolade that you named, but it is not going to help him in this match right now in order to advance at the last entry into the Platinum Rumble too. He has to actually cross Xavier in this match, and so far Xavier has had the upper hand, as you noticed, in the Brawl of Season 3. Yeah, well, and I have to admit, Xavier does have qualities and stuff that makes him capable of possibly picking off a victory. He is the younger competitor. He arguably has more years to do this, and I feel that he has more accomplishments yet to be seen. But the thing is, no matter how good Xavier Rodriguez is, you can't mess with one of the best. And that is Damian Jenkins here. One of the longest living members, one of the most talented wrestlers. As you can see here, always trying to steal the show. Rolling onto Xavier Rodriguez, proving that despite age, that despite veteran status, that despite how long he's been here, how seasoned he is, that he still has it, that he can still battle the younger talent, that he can still hold his own against younger skilled competitors. Damon Jenkins is one of a kind partner, and I feel from the bottom of my heart that he's going to prove that in this match by beating Xavier Rodriguez. But who knows what will happen here. Only time will tell with a DJ cutter. Damian Jenkins' signature move that he has been using for years. Will it take out Xavier Rodriguez like it's taken out many other people? No, it hasn't. Not yet. Actually, partner, I have no idea who I would want to win this match now. Both of these men have me on the edge of my seat right now. Yeah, well, as talented as Xavier Rodriguez is, I don't like that guy's attitude. I don't like him walking around acting like his shit doesn't stink, that he's all big and bad, that he is the best. You still have a lot to prove, and that includes taking out one of the best, arguably one of, I would say, maybe in my top five or top three in JCWA and Just Central Films history, in Damian Jenkins. <laughs> It's going to take a lot. I understand Xavier Rodriguez. He is a veteran in his own right. But I don't know. Damon Jenkins, I have my money on him. Oh, Damon Jenkins messing with the DJ Cutter here. Xavier Rodriguez trying to make me eat my own words. What's going to happen here? Is it and a counter. Oh, and a DJ Cutter again. This back and forth match Man. is making me wonder who wants this match more. Man, Xavier Rodriguez trying to do that TKO, but Damon Jenkins proving that he is one step ahead of him. And he is preparing another signature of his. This signature super kick right to the face, right to the dome to probably shut Xavier Rodriguez up for good. Wait, oh. Oh, oh Xavier Rodriguez tricking Damon Jenkins with a roll up. Oh, clever, but not yet. Not quite. Not quite enough to get the job done. The three count on Damian Jenkins. Xavier Rodriguez, with all the shit talking that he has done, with all the taunting, attacking Damian Jenkins, because he feels that he is on the same level of a legend of Damian's caliber. But can he prove that here? Oh, Xavier Rodriguez. TKO again. No, and a DDT by Damian Jenkins. This, this legend here in Damian Jenkins is bringing the fight to Xavier Rodriguez tonight. Oh my god, and it looks like a three count. No, not yet. Xavier Rodriguez with his last bit of strength just managed to slowly get the shoulder up. Man, these guys. 
are really proving how much they hate each other, how much animosity they have towards each other. I mean, do you really think that this is the last that these guys are gonna go on against each other? Or do you think these guys can finally close the, the chapter, the books on this rivalry once and for all? A Hell on Earth 2, we're gonna find out Damon Jenkins. Oh, DDT. Man, Xavier Rodriguez doing a DDT onto Damian Jenkins. Man, I don't know. Xavier Rodriguez, I don't like his attitude, but things are looking in his favor right about now. That's just it. With an ankle lock onto Damian Jenkins, trying to make the legend, the veteran Damian Jenkins tap out. But will he? Damian Jenkins reversing. Damian Jenkins reversing. The ankle lock applied by Xavier Bazavier with a mean spear. Is My he gonna God. do it? Is he gonna do it? Xavier, will that be it? Yes! I can't believe it, partner. I, I'm shocked. That is it, partner. Yeah. This chapter is over. done. It Sometimes is career. Xavier advances to the last entry in the Black Rumble 2. The elite. Tweaking, tweaking off that 2CB hat. Is he going to make it TBD, huh? Rumble. Thought I was going to run DMC, huh? I, I, I didn't die to live again on DMC, huh? Oh, not only does he Tepper catch arguably the best entry Tepper spot in gun, the Platinum damn. Rumble 2, Yeezy, Yeezy, being Yeezy, able to no enter key, huh? that match last, DMC but he has accomplished DVD, huh? arguably one of Russell his greatest feats, if not too. his greatest feat in beating the legend Damien Jenkins Hunter. I'm shocked. I mean, I know that Zachary Rodriguez is a veteran. I know Xavier Rodriguez is an all-star, right, but partner, we're going to have to pay even more attention to this man. The momentum that he got from beating Damon Jenkins, whether he wins the Platinum Rumble Tour or not, is going to, oh man, the bragging, if you thought partner was bad before, this bragging is going to get a whole lot worse now. Oh man, Damon Jenkins, you tried your best. As one of the best members, but you know what? This day, Xavier Rodriguez was just a better man. Just a better competitor. And this was just his day. Hey everybody, as you just saw, Xavier beat Damien Jenkins for the last spot in the Rumble. But I also have some pretty good news for y'all. I know you've been waiting for us to do something, to come up with something new again. Well, guess what? Brawl Season 4 is happening. And at the end of Brawl Season 4, it's going to be one of the biggest, I, I dare to even say it, one of the biggest, hugest events. Showdown 2 is coming back to the JCWA. Oh, 
Won't you spare me over another? But what is this that I can't see? You knew about this? You knew about this, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cake walk. What you gonna do now? This is my yard, right? Yeah, I do that. What you gonna do? You gonna hurt me? Oh, and this match begins, ladies and gentlemen. The match everybody came to see. The main event of Hell on Earth 2. Aaron Banan with a choke slam. The legend, the longest living legend. One of the top five legends, along with Damien Jenkins, what I said earlier, going up against the leader of Reaper Crew with another choke slam. This 20-man Platinum Rumble 2 for the JCWA Platinum Championship. The JCWA Platinum Champion looks like he's getting completely owned and dominated by Aaron Benam with a third it choke slam. It did not end like this, no! Is that it? Oh, man. Oh, partner. That would have been the upset of a century. The momentum Justin Cruz has been building up as JCWA Platinum Champion, as the leader of the Reaper Crew. The wins, the domination, the destruction. If he would have lost there, man, Aaron Benam would have completely had his number. You watch your mouth there, partner. It would have not happened. He is still in this match, and he's going to make sure he makes it all the way to the end. And, partner, for correction, Dioris took himself out of this match. It is a 19-man Platinum Rumble match. All right, well... In any event, I think this match will still be destructive and impactful. Dioris, I mean, maybe he'll make a GM announcement somewhere. But getting back to this match, ladies and gentlemen, we have not had a Rumble match in years since the first Platinum Rumble in 2017. Oh, and another oh, one. Superman punches by Justin Cruz doing anything he can to take the big man, Aaron Benam, down. But Aaron Benam, oh. With kicks to Justin Cruz, also knowing that he cannot underestimate his opponent as well. Even though Aaron Benam is a legend, Justin Cruz is making a big name for himself as well. Who will be number three? <laughs> All right, 
And as we see here, Keyshawn Donison, the third man, officially in the Platinum Rumble 2, looking to win the JCWA Platinum Championship for himself. But he has two other behemoths to face off. Two behemoths that actually probably makes him feel right at home. Oh, try to do a DDT onto Aaron Benam, and Aaron Benam at the last second countering is showing why he is a legend, why he is one of the top legends, along with people like Damian Jenkins, Christian Pagan, and others. Oh, he doesn't want Keyshawn, he wants the challenge. Justin Cruz returning those hits. Justin Cruz, the leader of the Reaper crew, basically saying that you don't scare me, legend. Oh, with a spear. Is this going to be it? My God, a spear of a lifetime. Knocked the sense out of Aaron Benam, the legend. It could be it, but no. Aaron Benam kicking out, showing that the longest living legend, one of the longest, you know what, probably aside from Joseph Torres, the longest living member in JCWA and Jet Central Films, history more importantly in this match of going against Justin Cruz that for the last couple of years has shaped his own path his own legacy with the Reaper crew becoming the first JCWA Platinum Champion at the Platinum Tournament looking to retain the JCWA Platinum Championship in the Platinum Rumble 2 going up against people like Aaron Benam here the legend and Keyshawn Donison Keyshawn having issues and problems with Jonathan Ortiz recently. Oh. Keyshawn basically, I guess you could say, turning on Jonathan Ortiz and Deshaun Cullum at Backyard Brawl. Oh. Then deciding that he wants to be alone. He wants to be a loner. Taking out anybody. Taking out whoever he wants because he can do that. Because he thinks that he can just treat anybody how he wants. That he can just bully anybody how he wants. Oh, no, Keyshawn Donison is in this for himself. He did absolutely nothing wrong coming into this Platinum Rumble oh, 2. Man. The next it's entry is about to come out. It uh, looks like a double suplex. Oh, Look at who it is, it's Little Shrimpy inside of this Platinum Rumble 2. You didn't get enough from your first match, one where you won with the roll of, right? Well, the former manager representative looking to do his best in this match. You know, you say these things about him, and you say that he is all these things, all these negative things, but he basically beat Sam Aaron in record time. Sam Aaron, a guy that you admire, a guy that many of these assholes in the JCWA admire as supposedly the greatest management representative. Well, the greatest management representative got beaten in seconds by the former management representative. And Giovanni is not even afraid of Aaron Banam or the Reaper crew here or Keyshawn Donison and looks to take out these guys, but it doesn't look good right now. Aaron Banam, ooh. Tossing Giovanni Adahar to the wall. And once again, Aaron Bonham wants a piece of the champ. Oh man. And Keyshawn Donison, even though there's been gaps in his career, he has been here for a pretty long time. He has accomplished his victories. He has done his things, has proven himself, and you know, was pretty good until I you know started disliking him for his bad attitude, along with Justin Cruz, who always pretty much had a bad attitude in the Reaper crew, and so probably at this point you could say has a worse attitude than Aaron Benam in his heyday. Down the sector, supreme neck protector. Better want him, kid, Mr. Mepsa. Ball and pop, about to blow his lid from the pressure. Too hot for TV, for sheezy. Too many wanna be hard, be easy. It's all in wait a minute. Going on. Hey, wait, is, is that Damien Jenkins? Somebody attacked him. Oh, come on. What kind of crap is this? No one attacked him, mate. He's hurt from earlier. What kind? Oh, so he's hurt and he crawled to the corner here? This is how you're gonna treat a legend? This is how people treat a legend around here? This is just disrespectful. Who the hell did that? Ah, uh, come on. Well, back to the match here. Well, I guess it's going to be technically 18 people now. 
now that somebody wants to take initiatives and attack people before they even come out to this match. What kind of crap is that? Now, now, Fortnite, we have no proof that Damian Jenkins was attacked. Maybe... Look he... at that, he's hurt there. How did... Why, how could you explain that? You know what? He suffered a loss from Xavier and he can't get over it. So now, he's looking for some sympathy from the crowd. Ah, this is ridiculous. Well, back to this Whoa. match we see here. Oh my god, no, Justin Cruz. That move that he has done many times, every time it looks so impactful, so devastating, even more than the last time. We see here the four contenders in this match. Nobody has gotten eliminated yet. And we still have plenty of contenders that will be coming out in this match. Some people brand new, being a part of the JCWA for the very first time. Other people making a possible return, while others are members of the JCWA that you may all know and love. Or in my case, I, you know, in terms of Justin Cruz, hate in terms of the way him and Reaper crew just completely picks on everybody. They can't pick on the legend Aaron Benam here. They can't even think about picking on him because Aaron Benam will make them eat their words. Aaron Benam will make them regret that decision. Well, look at this part of the Test battle. the strength here. Aaron Benam proving that he can match the strength of Justin Cruz. Justin Cruz trying to prove that he is the next best thing in the JCWA. And it looks like the next person is going to come out. Who's this going to be while these two titans, while these two monsters, claw at each other? Well, well, partner, it's one half of the crybaby babies in this match. Deshaun Collum looking to establish himself even more tonight? Absolutely not. I think absolutely not. Well, Deshaun Collum here. I don't know if you can knock him out that easy, partner. Let's not forget a couple of his accomplishments, including winning the main character contract battle royal, as well as beating Joshua Lee. What is it? Ooh! Man, slamming onto the ground at Red Alert 2. Oh, and go for the three count, but no. But however, I do admit, there has been kind of a rocky relationship and friendship between him and Jonathan Ortiz. These two have been very good friends oh. for a long time, and now, and now things are just kind of going sour. Like, you, you got to wonder, partner. I mean, like, I don't know if, if these guys are going to team up in this match or anything, but Deshaun Cullen trying to prove that he can get the job done himself. Ooh. Oh, but Keyshawn Donison proving that he can get the job done. A very strong and smart competitor in his own right. And Keyshawn Donison won two different battle royals in JCWA history. Has been known for taking out people in multi-man matches like this. He thrives in matches like this oh. where ooh, he can hurt oh, multiple people again. at once. Partner, you notice no one has been yet eliminated. The more this ring starts to fill up, the harder it is to survive in this match. Yes, that is true. Every single one of these competitors trying their hardest to make history, trying to become the second ever JCWA Platinum Champion, or in Justin Cruz's case, trying to retain his JCWA Platinum Championship. But up, oh, looks like we're not going to waste any time with the next entry in this match. Oh my god. 
and look who has graced us with his presence. It is the greatest of all. Joseph Torres has just entered the plot in round two. Yeah, the greatest in shit talking, that's all I gotta say. Joseph Torres just has a history with a DDT onto Keyshawn Donison, a history of using people and belittling and just doing whatever he can. Like right here, this animosity and problems that he has with Giovanni Anuha for no reason, because he didn't like that Giovanni Anuha had power over him as manager representative and wouldn't cater to what Joseph Torres wants, wouldn't cater to what Joseph Torres needs to happen according to him. Joseph Torres is biased to himself and Brandon Cox. It's completely ridiculous. And as we see here, Aaron Benam, Aaron Benam, the legend here, looking to put away What's Keyshawn Donison. Oh! TKO in his own right, but he used to call that back in the day the death strike. Aaron Benam, oh! Oh man, partner, two foes for many years. Partner, the history of JCWA before the JCWA, the wrestling promotions that we had before the JCWA in Jet Central Films. The amount of history these two men have, but it looks like all they have in their agenda is to take out everyone else. These two men just completely, Joseph Torres, I, I don't know who has been more of an asshole in JCWA and Jet Central Films history. Joseph Torres or Aaron Benam? I think Joseph Torres, oh, with him. Aaron Benam doing a clothesline onto Deshaun Cullen. Notice, partner, these two are working together. Since they have been here since day one, they know how to work a rumble match, and working together always helps. Oh my God, but Joseph Torres and Aaron Benam, the first time I guess they really started working together was the first plan of rumble. And it looks like they're picking off right, they're picking up right where they left off. And to be honest, partner, the many years that they've hated each other, it's really just surreal and shocking to see these guys teaming up, to see these guys on the same page in any aspect. I know that at Hallway Havoc, these guys shook hands, oh. but now they're practically teaming up on everybody else. They're not attacking each other. This is honestly very shocking. Oh! I'm out to bomb like Vietnam under the same name, Tame One. The bad one in flow, master bastard with the magnum. I tags up quick and then I steps to the exit when it's time to get sefted. I'll flex on some fresh shit, some whack brook. So my black book, I know who took it. I know what's up. Oh. All right, and now we see here Marlon Black, an up and coming rising star in the JCWA. Joseph Torres. Just obsessed with power, looking to do the sharpshooter onto Giovanni Anuhar. Come on! No, Giovanni is not meant to be here. He's getting ready to top out to Joseph Torres. I don't know. I think Giovanni is just in pain. Maybe that's just how he reacts to it. I'm not really sure. Giovanni has been on a roll here. Can he continue that role, partner, in this match? Oh! On a fucking arrow! Very devastating, just taking him out, slamming him very quickly to those mats. Marlon Black, oh, with some history that he's had with Keyshawn Donaldson. Everybody trying to go after everybody, trying to be the second man ever to win the JCWA Platinum Championship. Even if it means going after foes and friends alike. Justin Cruz here, still in this match. The number one entry, still fighting. Aaron Benam also still in this match. The legend, one of the longest living legends, still holding his own. Justin Cruz with a cross face onto Deshaun Cullum, trying to make him tap out. In this rumble, you can get eliminated by tapping out or by getting pinned. If it wasn't obvious enough, oh, again with that devastating replay. Justin Cruz continues to look devastating. It just doesn't let up. If anything, it continues to get worse. Partner, I'm looking at the time here. Justin Cruz and Aaron Bernard have been in this match for over 22 minutes. Oh, man. 
That is crazy, but you know what? At the same time, I'm not surprised. Both of those men understand how important the JCWA Platinum Championship is and winning a Rumble match in general. Aaron has won the very first Hallway Rumble before the JCWA. Aaron Benam understands the importance of a Rumble victory. Joseph Torres has yet to win one, as well as any of these other competitors here. But will it be a first for any of these competitors? Will Aaron Benam win his first Rumble under the JCWA? Will Justin Cruz retain the JCWA Platinum Championship and win his first Rumble? Who's going to come out next? We're going to find out that one now. Look who it is, partner. It's Cry Baby number two, Jonathan Ortiz, Jake Sean Pollock's other half. Um, as you just saw, partner, just recently, Keyshawn Donison eliminated by Aaron Benam, the first official elimination in this match. And I wouldn't call Jonathan Ortiz a crybaby. I mean, maybe he's been in his feelings a bit. I don't know. He's been acting kind of strange. Maybe he's just frustrated that he's not JCWA Platinum Champion. Maybe he's frustrated that he's been losing quite a bit. But I'm more shocked that seeing Joseph Torres and Aaron Benam teaming up over here. Like that, that's completely shocking. Oh, what is Deshaun Cullen going to do here? Oh, the blind man's bluff onto Marlon Black. Could that be the second elimination? And it is. It is. Deshaun Cullum eliminating Marlon Black. Oh, man. Jonathan Ortiz almost tried to eliminate Justin Cruz there. And now Deshaun Cullum with the momentum of taking out a very serious potential future icon, future veteran in Marlon Black. But man, Aaron Benam just taking out Deshaun Cullum. We're going to take everybody out. Me and the legend Aaron Benam. Understand that's that right, partner. Oh, come on. Those guys, those, they just do whatever dirty tactics they need to get the job done. Is that good? Is that fair? The type of stuff that Justin Cruz does. The type of stuff that people like Xavier Rodriguez does. Oh, oh. And the rest of Reaper Crew. Well, Aaron's going to give Justin Cruz a little taste of his own medicine. with. Oh, oh. oh wow, come on. I mean, it's not against the rules, but... <laughs> Kind of tasteless, don't you think? Oh, Another Superman punch. Just a series of Superman punches. Oh, oh. oh. he just ate through Giovanni. My God, just oh. that impact, the force that this What's behemoth Two, is capable of. Three. And that's it, Fair Benam. I can't believe it. Justin Cruz beats and pins arguably the greatest legend. In JCWA and Jeff Central Films history, Aaron Benam, up, that man? is huge. That is Turn epic. Up. That is amazing. I cannot I believe it. Joseph Torres with the score crushing oh. finale. My well, I'm speechless God. right now. Let's say who's coming out next, partner. Man, this is getting crazy and unpredictable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look at who it is. It's Brandon Cox. Oh man. Joseph Torres' is evil partner in crime. I mean, I wouldn't say they're an official team, but they both just... They have an understanding when it comes to this type of match right now, partner. No, please, that's what you call attacking people from behind, maliciously beating people down. That's that. what you call that? He just came to his aid right now. Look at that. Oh, man. Well, I hope these both are aware that there can only be one winner of the JCWA Platinum Rumble 2 and only one JCWA Platinum Champion. Oh, Joseph Torres with a low clothesline. That's a Deshaun Cullum. First, he teams up with Aaron Benam. Now he teams up with Brandon Cox. Oh, but Jonathan Ortiz stopping it. Jonathan Ortiz. Oh. Even though, you know, his attitude has been a little different, I still consider him 
a very awesome competitor. He is an all-star. He is a veteran. Oh. He is the future icon. He still has the heart, oh. the passion, and the determination. And as you saw there, man, Deshaun Cullen, was that the blind man's bluff again? Ooh. Oh, but a kick out. Wasn't able to get the pin this time, mate. Oh, that's very impressive. Not everybody kicks out of the blind man's bluff. But Brandon Cox showing that he is a veteran and an all-star in his own right. Has his own accolades, his own victories, his own accomplishments. Let's not forget he won the very first plot of Rumble. Yes, that is true. Brandon Cox, the winner of the... Oh! oh! And a double bulldog by Jonathan Ortiz and Deshaun Cullum. You know what, partner? Maybe they are a little bit on the same page after all. Maybe they just had to get ah. some kinks out. Maybe now that the prize is on the line, they'll finally be on the same page again as a unit. And let's see who's going to come out next. Entry number 11. As my the heartbeat, not only in my chest, but the heart in the street. So when they feel this, they feel me. But I can't feel nothing outside these trade beats. I am from the city of people, came from the bottom. Standing on top, I was supposed to be my coffin. What's up? Exception shows me of the dead man walking. But reflection shows this kid still got it. Better be known I got the throne like God. Oh man, partner, and you want to talk about all-stars, you want to talk about veterans, you want to talk about members of the JCW and Just Central Films history that has accomplishments, that has a rumble victory, that has a lead role in the Just Central Films movie Intentions of Deception, Jalen Taylor here. Oh man, if he's not a favorite in this match, then honestly, partner, I don't know who is, as he is going after everybody has had a hiatus ever since the Reaper crew viciously beat him down at Backyard Brawl all the way in 2017. Then he recently returned at the Planet Tournament with a DDT answer Jonathan Ortiz. Oh, man, Brandon Cox stopping that momentum. Jalen Taylor also teamed up with Damian Jenkins against... Oh, Ooh. another score-crushing finale. Man, against the Reaper crew members. You gotta be impressed with this part now. Yes, that is true. Joshua Lee and Justin Cruz and speaking of the Reaper crew members so I guess that's it James Van is no longer going to be a part of the Reaper crew it looks like on his own free will I mean I think he's doing himself a favor you don't want to be put in that negativity you don't want your name associated with crap like the devastating nonsense that the Reaper crew does looking to take out everybody James made his own decision and now it is up to Joshua Lee and Justin Cruz to keep the soul, the heart of Reaper Crew alive. Yeah, well, let's see. Let's see if they can pull it off in this match. All of these contenders, all of these competitors, we have veterans, we have rookies, we have all-stars, we have people that have put in work. We have people with years of experience in the JCWA. We have all people coming together, looking to prove themselves, but only one man can win this match. Giovanni, who looked like he was going to do an ankle lock. Brandon Cox saving him. Let's keep in mind, partner, the winner of this match will go on to Brawl of Season 4 in Main Event Showdown 2. You can see here, Joshua Lee, of course, now that Joshua Lee of the Reaper Crew is here, of course the Reaper Crew is now going to start teaming up on anybody and everybody. Why wouldn't they? At least I'm happy to know that James Van won't be joining them here. Hey, Reaper Crew. They are just as devastating as the two. Ooh, Deshaun Cullum trying to do the blind man's bluff. Joshua Lee saying not today. Look at the havoc going on. A very powerful and impressive competitor in his own right. Joshua Lee has his own accomplishments. Has done his own amounts of devastation in the Reaper crew. It hasn't been just Justin Cruz. But he is now taken down by Deshaun Cullum. These two men has a ton of history. Oh, a backbreaker by Jonathan Ortiz onto Brandon Cox. These two men have a lot of history as well. More specifically in 2013. Joseph Torres here, attacking Deshaun Cullum, the former manager and representative D Giovanni Anuhar, still here as well. Ooh, a swing and a slam by Giovanni Anuhar. 
putting some new moves in his moveset, showing new tricks. Jalen Taylor showing that he hasn't missed a step, doing a power slam. Could that be it? No. So the former manager representative kicks out. It's good to see Jalen Taylor here, partner. Has been away for so long, but ever since he came back recently, in the last episode of JCWA Bro Season 3, he has not missed a step as a competitor. He proves and continues to prove that he is one of the greatest in JCWA and Just Central Films history. Now we see here the next competitor to come out. Man, partner, this is getting crazy, but I have a feeling it's just going to get crazier. <laughs> Now we see here Joseph Montalvo, formerly a part of the storm, now looking to make a name for himself as a singles competitor. Jonathan Ortiz with a leg drop onto Brandon Cox. Would that be it? Hold up. And it's funny that we talk about the storm because the other half of the storm here is our referee, Elliot Delegros. Looking to basically call this match down the middle. I'm sure he's not going to have any bias with Joseph Montavo. That would be pretty messed up if you ask me, especially when a prize like the JCWA Platinum Championship is on the line. Oh, Deshaun Color just rolling Joseph Montavo onto the ground. An interesting rookie and a competitor in his own right. A seasoned rookie, I guess you can say. He has technically been in the JCWA for a number of years. But can he? Oh, and Joseph Torres with a a rock bottom onto Jonathan Ortiz. I've never seen that before. Joseph Torres trying to pull out all the stops, to trying to do what he can. As you know, partner, Joseph Torres continues to get more and more frustrated when he doesn't win these rumbles ma these rumble matches. He has been in every single rumble match. Joshua Lee doing the backbreaker. Joseph Torres has been in every single rumble match. This being the eighth rumble match. Fourth under the JCWA. Deshaun Cullum with a beautiful blind man's bluff. Justin Cruz stopping the pin. Oh man, if he didn't stop the pin, I'm pretty sure Joshua Lee would have lost there. But man, when jo Justin Cruz saving his partner. Well, would that be it? No. I'm telling you, partner, the more the screen fills up with competitors, the harder it becomes to survive. Oh man, it's just gonna get even harder because we have another person on their way out. On your feet. Not a lot of bling. Come on, come on, bling. A lot of bling, a lot of bling. From the womb to the tomb, get that ricotta, bada bing, bada boom, doom. Your reputation precedes you. Wait till you crack and see what we do. You dweeb, you. No pun intended. Takes one to know one will know. It's unscented. Yo, son. I mentioned what I said from the other. Now, who is Andrew Levy? Well, I really don't know much about Oh, my him. God. He just, well, I mean, I guess he really showed who he was with that move. This being his first, very first match. And what better way to debut in the JCWA than in the biggest rumble. Pablo with a suplex onto Joseph Torres. The biggest rumble in JCWA history. Not only in competitors, but probably in quality as well. Like, that's... Amazing, yeah, honestly, for him, partner. You know, it would be even more amazing if he could pull off a victory. But we're going to see here, because we have a ton of very powerful and seasoned competitors. We have Reaper Crew members Justin Cruz and Joshua Lee. We have Joseph Torres here, arguably one of the top veterans. Oh, we have Jonathan Ortiz with a JWO, a veteran and an all-star in his own right, looking to eliminate Reaper Crew member Joshua Lee, but not yet. Ooh. Andrew Levy throwing... Giovanni Anuar, and then we have here Joseph Montavo, all of these men and more competing in this match. Also here, Deshaun Cullum, who will win, who will become the second ever JCWA Platinum Champion 
if Justin Cruz loses this match. I don't know, partner, but honestly, at this point, it looks like it could be anybody. Randy Cox, oh, going blow to blow with Justin Cruz as well. But I don't know, that's, that's usually not the, the most smartest decision. As we see here again, Jonathan Ortiz's signature move, the JWO. Ooh, Joshua Lee, ooh, looking to take out the newbie. Practically the outsider in the JCWA. Justin Cruz has been in this match for 35 minutes. He is 5 minutes away from reaching 40 minutes in this JCWA Platinum Rumble. Longest out of everybody, being that Aaron Benam is no longer in this match. But man, things are getting crazy. Can Justin Cruz survive the entire match? Can he retain? Oh, so much action going on, and me with no breaks. Both of them looking to, oh, take out both of these competitors. See who's coming out next. Another new face partner, Jose Guzman. Welcome to the JCWA. Yes, as you know, partner, and as you see here in this rumble, anybody can be a part of it. You can see faces that you've never seen before. People that be, oh, Jose showing his stuff, doing a spear onto Joseph Torres, and then Andrew Levy completely slamming Joshua Lee like nothing. Two of these new guys showing their stuff, showing their skills. Oh, but Giovanni Anuhar said not today, at least for Jose Guzman. One of the last person who was eliminated was the Aaron Bernal. My God, Andrew Levy trying to get the pinfall here. What are you doing, you fool? Joseph Montalvo trying to break it up. I don't know how smart that strategy is. Oh, oh pinfall. A pinfall here. Oh, Joshua Lee almost taking out one of the greatest veterans here, one of the greatest all-stars in Jalen Taylor. Won the Baseball Rumble 2014 and hopes to win the Platinum Rumble too. Oh man, but his old rival, Jonathan Ortiz, oh. these guys were feuding a lot more so in 2014. They were friends at one point. Oh, the ref was knocked over. Oh man, so much chaos, you see that? So much going on, the ref can't even stay afloat. The referee man here, former wrestler Elliot, ooh, looking to call this very important match in JCWA history, Jonathan Ortiz, with a JWO, with a kick out by Joshua Lee. This is getting intense now, and I sense there is much more to come. That's what I'm saying, partner. This match is not even over. We still have a couple of contenders left. All of these competitors trying to pull out all the stops. Let's see who will come out victorious. partner the returning Solomon Green the last time we seen Solomon Green was at the very first showdown yes partner that is correct all the way back in 2013 since then we haven't seen this guy didn't hear anything about him but now he is back a big return in one of the biggest matches in JCWA history for the biggest prize in the JCWA game being the JCWA Platinum Championship this man, honestly, I have to admit, being a newbie in the JCWA and being a, a, a rookie in the JCWA, outside of the, the JCWA, he does have experience, and I will say, he is a very impressive wrestler, and he is a very impressive competitor, but can he get the job done here? Can he win this match? Can, ooh, despite the long gap that he has been away, can he pull off a victory? and win the JCW Platinum Championship. Can Brandon Cox here, who just fell on the ground. A very strong competitor and veteran and all-star in his own right. 
can he accomplish not only his second Rumble win, winning the Platinum Rumble and then the Platinum Rumble 2, going back to back, but then winning the JCW Platinum Championship on top of that. Man, so much action. As you just saw, Giovanni Andujar, sh little shrimpy, just eliminated Joseph Montalvo. And honestly, partner, this could be anybody's game. I feel that any of these competitors can pull off an upset, can walk away with the win, despite rank, despite length in the JCWA, despite skill. I mean, sometimes it's the luck of the draw. Sometimes it's all about being in the right place at the right time, getting a quick roll up at the right second. That's what Giovanni Anuhar learned firsthand when he did that to Sam Aaron earlier. We will not relive that horrible time in every podcast. Man, and it's gonna continue to get crazy. Who's gonna come out next? <laughs> Oh man, we see here the referee Osama in his second match. Usually you see this guy with the straights. You see this guy counting the one, two, threes, asking if the competitors give up. Now he is here in one of the biggest matches in the JCWA. And he is looking to make a name for himself in his second match. And Jose was just eliminated. Oh uh, yeah, I, I, I saw that kind of over there but I didn't see it too well looks like Jose is out of this match as we can see all of these competitors that are still in this match looking to prove themselves Joseph Torres of course attacking from behind and as we can see here a replay again of Jalen Taylor Ooh, slamming Deshaun Cullum onto the ground surprised he didn't get a three count there honestly Back to all this action, just look at all the chaos going on. All of these competitors will stop at nothing to get the biggest prize in the game, in the JCWA game. Being, oh, the Reaper crew proving that with their signature team up moves that they've done in the past. Will they take out Solomon Green? No. Solomon kicking out. Having the platform here in this multi man match to prove what he can do after all of these years of being away. But man, so much chaos. Everybody going at it. Who knows what's gonna happen? Who's gonna win the match, let alone, ooh, who's gonna be the next one eliminated? An Olympic slam by Joshua Lee, pulling out all the stops in his own right. All of these competitors adding new moves to their repertoire, trying to do whatever they can to get the job done, whatever they can to get the one, two, three, or to submit their opponents to do whatever they can to make history by becoming the second ever JCWA Platinum Champion. But that's only if Justin Cruz doesn't have anything to say about it. Oh, 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 and wait, partner. It's Damian Jenkins, and if he's attacking Jeremy Rodriguez in his entrance, that can only mean one thing. Jeremy Rodriguez, I'm pretty sure, was the one that attacked Damian Jenkins earlier. That made it so Damian Jenkins couldn't even compete in this damn match. Because Damian Jenkins isn't like one of these assholes. Damian Jenkins actually, actually has heart and morals and ethics and dignity. Oh, no, did you just assume Jeremy attacked Damian Jenkins like that? How da who do you think you are? What is this new guy doing? He has to do a lot more. He has a lot more to prove to take out somebody like Damian Jenkins, even though he's taking him out a bit here. Oh, come on. This is just insane. Damian Jenkins goes through a whole grueling match one-on-one -on -one against Xavier Rodriguez. Now he has to deal with this shit, trying 
to win the JCWA Platinum Championship doesn't even get a chance or an opportunity to compete because of this new guy, because of this green monster that is Jeremy Rodriguez that hasn't done anything here. This is a joke. This is ridiculous. And now a Boston crowd. I can't believe this nonsense. He is beating the hell out of these legends. Who does he think he is? Where's security? Where's somebody to get him out of here? This isn't part of the damn match. This has nothing to do with the damn match. It's things like this that Sam Aaron continues to allow that just pisses me off. It's just anything goes. The inmates run the asylum. They can do whatever they want. And to be honest, partner, I am sick of it. You have to earn your place here. And Damien Jenkins will try. Oh, man. Damien Jenkins completely getting taken out, getting lunged into that wall. She could get menacing, frightening, find help. Sometimes I scare myself, myself. Tweaking, tweaking off that 2CB high. Is he gonna make it TBD high? Thought I was gonna run DMC high. I done died and lived again on DMC. And as we see here, because of all the shenanigans, this is actually the final entry. Xavier Rodriguez with a spear onto Giovanni Anuhar. And that could be it. Going for the three count, yes. Man, Good off the riddance. bat. Good riddance. He is finally out of this match. Not only did he eliminate one of the top legends in Damian Jenkins, but as soon as he comes out in this match, Bam! Spear eliminates the former manager representative, Giovanni Anuhar. And now we see here, oh, oh, suplex uh, onto a roll, a pinup right there. Everybody's still going out. One of these competitors, partner. Ooh, what a spear by Jeremy. Man, it is Spear City here in the Platinum Rumble too. One of these competitors that you see here will be the winner. There's no more people coming out, no more entries. One of the people here will be the winner of the Platinum Rumble 2 and will become the JCWA Platinum Champion. Oh God. Solomon Green proving himself, showing his experience, showing his skills in this match, showing his potential. Ooh, DDT also by Jeremy Rodriguez. Uh, come on. Well, this is never anything good, partner. Of course it's nothing good. These, these two guys, they don't have a good bone in their body. They don't have a decent bone in their body. They don't care about anybody but themselves. And I wouldn't be surprised if they bring weapons into this match or they do something to cheat. Or they do, do something unfair. Oh, Deshaun Cullum trying to escape this two-on-one mugging. Deshaun Cullum, uh-oh, to the top. I don't think people climb to the top for a bit. But we see here, partner, Deshaun Cullum, Brandon Cox, and Joseph Torres. The match is on the mat. It is not up there. All of these competitors fighting. Oh, man, what's going to happen up here? What is going on here? Oh, man, as you know, partner, Man, we have had a good amount of Rumble matches in JCWA history and even before the JCWA, but none of them, I feel, has been as impactful as what I've been seeing so far. All of the moves, all of the action, all of the carnage, and that just proves it right there. Deshaun Column just jumping, leaping off the top with a kick onto anybody that is below. What is Solomon Green going to do here? He is oh man, the pole. dangerous position here, very dangerous position, the rest of the roster fighting in the bottom, oh, oh. jumps from the top, elbows by Joseph Torres and Brandon Cox, but partner, Solomon Green is still up there, Solomon Green, and I, I have a feeling, oh he has something very devastating planned, something very dangerous, like a tightrope, like he is above buildings right now, he has no fear right now, no fear whatsoever as we can see the replay here just so much carnage partner it just continues to escalate and i have a feeling we're gonna see something crazy here some of the people are distracted they don't see it oh swanton bomb onto everybody that's practically in this match quickly going for the pin one two 
three. three. And he gets him. Osama has been eliminated. Oh my god, the referee Osama. For a second match, I mean, he did what he had to do. He did what he could. But man, after that swanton bomb, I'm not surprised he lost right there. Take a look at this. Yes, again. we have to. We wow. have to. My God, just decimating everybody. It's just a domino effect, partner. It hits people and then they hit other people. And now the ankle lock by Xavier Rodriguez. On to Solomon Green. I have a great feeling that we're going to see a lot more great work from Solomon Green. I feel the same way if he continues to do things like this. And more importantly, if he continues to show up and dedicate himself and make the effort. I mean, why not, partner? And as you can see, Jeremy Rodriguez here doesn't deserve to be in this oh. match. Oh, with a Superman punch. For once, I actually have to root for the Reaper crew. After what he did to Damian Jenkins earlier. There shouldn't be any place for nonsense like that. Especially to a legend. And looks like Joshua Lee with the pinfall. And that's it. Taking out the big man. The monster in his own right. And Jeremy Rodriguez. Gosh, partner, this is amazing. Yes, that is true, partner. Xavier Rodriguez almost getting the three count of Solomon Green. Jalen Taylor, Brandon Cox, Joseph Torres, Deshaun Cullum, Jonathan Ortiz, two of the Reaper crew members. They're all still in this match. This match can still go any way, either way. Any of these competitors can get the job done. The only question that now remains in my mind, I'm sure it remains in your mind, and anybody watching this match is who? We're gonna find out at the end of it. Oh. And look again, Joseph Torres and Brandon Cox teaming on Jonathan Ortiz again, proving, but Jonathan Ortiz showing his heart. Jonathan Ortiz. Oh, man. A bear hug submission onto Jalen Taylor. Jalen Taylor does not forget, cannot forget everything that the Reaper crew has done to him, taking him out of action for years, along with taking Aaron Banam out of action for years at Backyard Brawl. Oh my God. Like a neck breaker onto Brandon Cox. Oh, but Brandon Cox retaliating with a roll up of his own. And the ref goes flurring off. God, so much action, partner. We see Solomon Green here. Everybody here still fighting. Joshua Lee still in this match. You Joseph Torres getting his hits in in the background. You can see time taking its effect on these superstars right now. Yes, that is true. They're starting to get tired and drained. But I have a feeling none of these competitors will stop until they either get eliminated or win this match. There, there's just no stopping partner. None at all. Jalen Taylor, what is he going to do here to the new guy? Ooh, a kick. Practically to the face. Right to the face of the rookie of the JCWA, Solomon Green. Oh, my God, and a double check. Is this going to be it for Solomon? My God, Jalen Taylor. And that's it. Man, Solomon Green, but you can't count them out completely. Did a very impressive showing. Even though he has plenty of wrestling experience outside of the JCWA, this was only his second match in the JCWA with these competitors. So not a bad job, but back to Joseph Torres and Brandon Cox. Again, as you can see here, now going after Jalen Taylor here. And now Deshaun Cullum, the last remaining people. Ooh, with a spike pile driver by Brandon Cox. We've seen him do that in the past. We can see the replay. Devastating double check by Jalen Taylor. Wait a minute. Go Joseph Torres to his partner. Oh my god. His old signature move, the jet slam. We haven't seen that move in a long time. And he puts him away. I can't believe it. Not only does he bring back an old mood from the past. But of course, Joseph Torres betrays another person in his career. Turns on another person. I know it was every man for himself. But I'm pretty sure these two guys agreed to team up on everybody else before going after each other. And Joseph Torres just out of nowhere. Brendan Cox can't even believe it. He's shocked. He can't even believe it. I mean, I, I don't even know why he's shocked that Joseph Torres stood to new lows. That's that's all he is, and that's all that he's capable of. All to get the job done. All to get the victory. Oh, oh my God! 
And like a bulldozer himself, Xavier Rodriguez with one of the most devastating spears I've seen. How did Deshaun Cullum kick oh, out of that and a leg drop? Oh, no, I'm sweating my, here. It's just so much. How the referee uh, could barely keep track of all of this craziness. Joseph Torres, again, the replay of his betrayal. Oh, oh and a blind man's bluff by Deshaun Cullum. This can't be it. No. Onto Joshua Lee of the Reaper crew. And that's it. Justin Cruz in the Reaper crew is by himself. Oh man, and that's gonna be really bad for him. That Joshua Lee, I feel honestly, partner, was his golden ticket to the finish. Was his golden ticket to winning this match. Now without Joshua Lee, it's only him. I mean, he is a very devastating and competitive partner, but there are still many other competitors here that might want to take him out and, of course, take away his JCWA Platinum Championship away from him like Xavier Rodriguez here. Partner, you have no faith in Justin Cruz. He's been in this match at number one and he's still surviving. Yes, that's true. Oh, and a TKO by Xavier Rodriguez. Man, oh, but Joseph Torres going on the attack. Oh, oh. super, super kick. kick. There's so much going on, partner. You have to stay on your toes in this match. Man, replays are constant. Action is constant. War is constant. Anarchy mm -hmm. is constant. And I expect no different from the JCWA's best. And honestly, not only with the veterans here, but rookies and new guys, I, I hope to see them do a lot more in the JCWA going forward. A lot of impressive performances here from the likes of people like Andrew Levy, Jose, and Solomon Green. Joseph Torres, look, just going after everybody. I am going to win this rumble. I am gonna win. It's gonna be me. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. And no, so Joseph Torres needs to stop with that shit talking. It continues to get him in trouble oh. with the double track by Jalen Taylor. Jalen Taylor beat him at the Two. Baseball Rumble 2014. He eliminated him and he eliminates him here now. He screwed it up for himself, mate. My God, Joseph Torres, he can't shut his big mouth. He always has to talk shit. His mouth keeps getting him in trouble. He doesn't learn. When will he learn? No way, partner. He just eliminated Joseph Torres. You can see the disappointment. Oh, man. Jalen Taylor, man. Coming out to really make a statement. And really do what he can. Eliminating one of the top veterans in Joseph Torres here. I'll get out when I'm ready. Every year, Joe. The frustration, you can see it. Oh, he's having a fit. He's having a Joseph fit. Joseph Cruz laughing in the back. It's your fault, Joseph Torres. You have nobody to blame but yourself. And of course, the skills of Jalen Taylor has something to do with that as well. What a devastating double check by Jalen Taylor. And look, Jonathan Ortiz, Deshaun Cullum still in this match, both showing that when push comes to shove, they are on the same page. They can get along. They can fight the good fight. They are still the good, competitive competitors that I know and love. I just know it with a double team bulldog on Xavier Rodriguez, but Xavier kicks out. We are down to five competitors, mate. And one of them wants this the most. But how will they go about it to achieve it? Is that question. And my God, how is Justin Cruz still oh. in this match? And another blind man's bluff by Deshaun Cullum. He's just dishing him out like free samples. It's just unbelievable, partner. All of the stuff that all of these guys will do to win. You gotta be impressed with the performance. My God, all of these men, even people I don't like, like Justin Cruz, showing what he can do, showing what he can pull out, still in this match. Ooh, Ooh what a choke slam onto Jalen oh, Taylor. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh! A blind man's bluff. My Sick. God, partner. Devastating. That has to be a three count. It just has to be, and it is. Xavier is finished. Unbelievable, the amazing athleticism and skill and stamina of Deshaun Cullum. Man, it just continues to blow my mind. And unfortunately for you, it's going to take a lot more than that. Both of these friends, again, having to do what they can. Jalen Taylor with a super kick. Deshaun Cullum, Superman punch. 
All of these men doing the smart thing, going after Justin Cruz, teaming up on Justin Cruz. Of course, that makes the most sense. Go after the big dog, the biggest threat, the biggest force in this match. Not only that, but the current and the first ever JCWA Platinum Champion, the winner of the Platinum Tournament. You're going to have to pull out all the stops to take this man out, and you might as well do it. Oh no, he has Ooh, made a believer in drop. everyone watching here tonight. Oh, almost got a three count on Jalen there. But not quite. As you can see here, partner, these four men, these four warriors, Jonathan Ortiz, Jalen Taylor, Justin Cruz, and Deshaun Cullum. There's, oh. ooh. And it looked like a blind man bluff in his own right, in Jonathan Ortiz's own right. Will he take out Jalen Taylor with that? Oh, not quite. Not quite. Man, Jonathan Ortiz and Deshaun Cullum, it, it's been a while since they look like they're on the same page. But I'm happy that they are because they're going to have to be if they expect to take out not only the All-Star and Jalen Taylor, but the leader of the Reaper crew, the current JCWA Platinum Champion, Justin Cruz. But no, if they could not get it done during Platinum, if they could not get it done during Brawl, what makes you think they can work together to do Man, it now? another double check. Oh, Wait, but no. Happen? Jonathan Ortiz with the JWO. And that is it, partner. Two. Is it? Three. Yes. Yes, it is. We are down to three. Jonathan Ortiz, in a way, kind of getting his win back since he technically lost to Jalen Taylor at Genocide 2014. The two crybaby babies and the JCWA Platinum Champion. Oh, man. This is good. And you know what? All three of these competitors, partner, they know each other very well. They have plenty of history. The years that Reaper Crew, Justin Cruz, Joshua Lee, and at the time, James Van would have all this anger and beef with Jonathan Ortiz and Deshaun Cullum because these two wouldn't let the Reaper Crew just bulldoze over them just like they wanted to bulldoze over the entire JCWA. Jonathan Ortiz and Deshaun Cullum said, no, we will not let you guys walk all oh, over us, oh, pick on us. Up. Oh, my God. God! Justin Cruz ready for that. Just slamming him like he owes him money. My God. It's just so... Just... I can't believe just half of the stuff this guy does. It's his, incredible. His awareness Ooh. is on another level right now. Man, I was going to say Justin Cruz with the ankle lock, but then Jonathan Ortiz stopping that. And again! Oh, Reaper's pit. The Reaper's pit yet again. A swing and a slam by Justin Cruz. Onto anybody and everybody that will even think to compete with him. On a three count? No. Jonathan Ortiz's partner breaking it up. Why did he stop the count? Showing that he is a good friend to Deshaun Cullum. You know what? You don't like this kind of stuff, but I bet you if the Reaper crew did that, you would love it. You would have absolutely no problem with it. Oh, no. The only reason he stopped the count is because if it was down to the both of them, he could not get the job done. Oh, come on. Don't quit. Come on, that is completely ridiculous. I mean, yeah, one on one, Jonathan Ortiz has never beaten Justin Cruz, but still, Jonathan Ortiz in a three on three elimination match did get the pin, did prove that he can get the pin. Now, the thing is, can he beat Justin Cruz here? The most controversial pin, by the way, I should mention. JWO. Can this put the big man away? One, two, Ooh, and almost. A kick out. Also, Parler, let's not forget that Justin Cruz also beat Jonathan Ortiz to become the first ever JCWA Platinum Champion at the Platinum Tournament. Justin Cruz has had Jonathan's number, Jonathan Ortiz's number for a bit. It's about time that he's getting a taste of his own medicine here, and he is feeling the two-on-one treatment as Jonathan Ortiz and Deshaun Cullum systematically trying to wear down this beast this monster who came out still let's not forget partner right, came out entry number one and you he know, is man. still in this match all three of these men not only want to become jcwa platinum champion but all three of these men want to main event right? showdown two the biggest event the biggest spectacle the biggest thing in jcwa history being showdown two all of these men want to be the main oh, event of that double super kick my god, and they will pull out all the stops so much on the line here, partner. History in the making here. Taking turns 
taking out Justin Cruz of the Reaper crew, but what will it take, partner? What will it take for these two men to take out this monster, this machine? What can they do to rid themselves? Ooh. Oh my god! Superman punch exploding out of the corner. My I Deshaun wow. Cullen has to has to be knocked unconscious after that one. Look at that. There's Put no him, way he can see straight. Put this baby to sleep. You've done it before, and he's doing it now. And that's it for Deshaun Cullen. Man, Justin Cruz, and now, partner, it is down to two men that have had the most history with each other. This feud goes all the way yeah, back to 2017. This feud technically blossomed at the first Platinum Rumble, but the seeds were planted even before that match. These guys had run-ins from the Platinum Rumble to the Platinum Tournament to Red Alert 2, Backyard Brawl, Hallway Havoc. Just about every event that these two have been involved in has been an event where they would try to take each other out, where they would try to beat each other down all throughout the Platinums, all throughout Brawl Season 3. These two men will stop at nothing to prove that they're better than the other one. And who better than these two to be the final two? Either Jonathan Ortiz will become the second ever Platinum Champion or Justin Cruz will retain. Jonathan Ortiz doesn't have the greatest track record with Justin Cruz. Let's not forget, Justin Cruz has beaten Jonathan Ortiz far more times than Jonathan Ortiz has oh. beaten Justin Cruz again with the Reaper's Pit. Just dishing it out like it's nothing. He just wants to cause pain, partner. He just wants oh. to cause suffering. Jonathan Ortiz being smart, rolling out, because, man, it would have been hard to kick out without him, partner. I don't think he would have kicked out. Man, so much history partnered with these two. Now, the final two. Justin Cruz was the very first entry. Now, he is the final two in this match. Probably the longest time in a Rumble match in JCWA history and even before the JCWA. It is incredible, partner, trying to keep his JCWA Platinum Championship, trying to keep it away from everybody and everybody who looked to take it, especially Jonathan Ortiz. And he has to stoop to new lows by bringing in a damn weapon here, a table. What the hell is going on? It's legal? Sure. Is it okay in the rule book? Yeah. But does he really need it? Does this monster, Justin Cruz, the leader of the Reaper Crew, the JCWA Platinum Champion, does he need to make him suffer? Oh my even God. My God. Oh my goodness, partner. I, I can't partner it it has to be it from there just lifting Jonathan Ortiz in the air like nothing and slamming him down to that table that's a no he just kicked out of that Ooh. Okay, oh my partner. goodness that is definitely one of the most shocking things to take place in the platinum rumble history Jonathan Ortiz kicking out after getting slammed onto a table like that my god Justin Cruz here you know you gotta wonder what is going to take to stop Justin Cruz? You also got to wonder what is it going to take to stop Jonathan Ortiz with the amount of heart he has and the determination. And unlike Justin Cruz, he actually has ethics and morals and does things the right way. Oh my God. Suplex. Oh my God, but it looks like he's not done there. We've seen this before. What's he doing? For another phone. arrow. God. That has to be a partner. Justin Cruz, you take... No. No. Kicked out of that too. The very last second, man, that hand was coming down for that three count. And at the very last second, this shows how much Jonathan Ortiz wants this, how much Jonathan Ortiz feels that he needs this, that he needs to be the JCWA Platinum Champion, that he needs to be the leader of the Reaper crew, Justin Cruz. And hey, it may not be a one on one victory, but I'm sure he'll take whatever he can get at this point. And we've seen oh, this no. before. Flashbacks of Red oh. Alert 2 and flashbacks of Genocide 2014 for that matter when Jalen Taylor was whipping Jonathan Ortiz. Why do people want to whip Jonathan Ortiz so bad, especially Justin Cruz is beyond me. No, you know what? I'll answer that for you. It's because he wants him to suffer. He's making this crybaby baby, no. baby squeal right now. I want to get Come on. He brings in a damn table. He brings in a damn belt. And now look at what he's going to do. Didn't he do this before? Resemblance to Brawl of Episode 1. This is re- Come on! 
He doesn't, he doesn't just want to beat the man. He wants to end the man's career. He wants to permanently injure the man. What kind of JCWA Platinum oh. Champion is that? Oh, and a low blow, giving him a taste of his own medicine. He's just low blow, oh. Justin Cruz. Jonathan Ortiz just... He's got the bell. Oh, there you go, Justin Cruz. I bet you're not going to like this. Oh. Good. Oh, my and God. And another one. Getting a taste of his own medicine. He is whipping him like an angry child. You don't like it that much, do you, Justin wait. Cruz? You don't like how it feels, wait, 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 do wait. you? Jonathan oh Ortiz God. has had enough. You hear it. He's had enough of the games. He's had enough of the sneak attacks. The, the attacks from behind. The weapons. He's had enough of everything. Jonathan Ortiz, do it. Make the biggest statement of your career. Take out wait, the leader wait, wait, of the Reaper wait, wait, wait. crew, Justin wait, Cruz. What's going on here? I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have doubted you. I'm sorry. Oh, don't fall for it. For you, I made you. I made this. Jonathan Ortiz. You telling Jonathan Ortiz that I made you. He didn't make anybody. Don't listen to him. He's trying to get into your head. I'm the world. <sighs> Just finish him off, Ortiz, before Justin Cruz beats you again. Jonathan Ortiz, I don't know how much more he has. Oh, 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 seems to have enough for that. Oh, a curb stomp. I don't, I don't know if he got all of it there. But he tried, man. But Jonathan Ortiz, it's, it's just a mixture of being exhausted and just being pissed off. How much does he have left? The final two competitors. Oh, oh, spiking his head on the ground. My God. That has to be it. Two. No. We have a new partner. We have a new JCWA Platinum Let's Champion. Go! The second ever JCWA Bring Platinum Champion in JCWA history. The future icon, Jonathan Ortiz. He might as well be the current icon after a victory like that. Not only winning a Rumble match, but being the second ever JCWA Platinum Champion. Good for you, Jonathan Ortiz. You've done it, kid. He put everybody wrong and he did it the right way without sneak attacks, without doing messed up things. He still got the job done. He proved it without a shadow of a doubt that he is the future icon. That he is the future of the JCWA because he is here. He is here now as the second ever JCW Platinum Champion. Man, I am proud of this competitor and it is about time. The reign of terror that was Justin Cruz's JCW Platinum Championship reign came to an end. The frustration, look at that. Jonathan Ortiz, man, but Justin Cruz almost got that victory, man. Justin Cruz almost retained that JCW Platinum Championship. Remember, don't forget whose waist this is around now. I'm the icon. No longer am I a future icon. This, this is everything I needed. His partner, Deshaun Cullum. Of course, fitting to congratulate Jonathan Ortiz. Jonathan Ortiz becomes the JCWA Platinum Champion, and these guys can finally get back on the same page. What's it coming out for? Think um, I need your approval? No. But you got it. I got it. Yeah. Without your help. Without my Without help. anyone. This is me. The icon. Jonathan Ortiz. Wait, what? What is what? Jonathan Ortiz? You played your part this entire What is he talking time, about? Why is he talking to Deshaun Cullum like you. that? No one else. I mean, you win the championship. And oh! your first action is to disrespect your partner? What the hell is this? That, that was your friend. Forget tag team partner. That was your friend. 
And this is how you're gonna do him after you, you win the JCW strong? Platinum Championship. You your participation award? You want a little trophy? What the hell is this? Justin Cruz looking on. I bet he loves this. This is something what? Justin Cruz would do. Oh, oh my, my God. God, just spiking Deshaun's head to the ground. He has to come yes. up with a name for that signature move. That seems like a move that he's just going to be doing. And it looks so painful. My God, what the hell is he thinking? I thought these guys were getting back on the same page. I thought these guys were, were friends. It looks like all of that went out the window for power. Was it all worth it?